Hi, welcome back. It's me, Scientist Kate. This is Grade Kindergarten, Sunlight and Weather, Lesson 1.4, Weather and Playgrounds, Part 2. For this part of the lesson, you won't need any materials. You're just going to need that really smart brain. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, do you remember the last lesson we did? We compared data from Carver's Playground and Woodland's Playground to see if they had the same types of weather. Do you remember that we found out that they did have the same number of days of each type of weather? Do you think that the type of weather could cause the temperature difference then? What do you think? Yeah, it's unlikely that the type of weather caused the difference in temperature because the two playgrounds had the same number of days of each type of weather. Hmm, that means whatever is causing the temperature difference in the two playgrounds is still a mystery. But do you know how we're gonna solve it? Using science. Are you excited? Me too. I love that a science investigation helps us answer questions and it gives us all sorts of new questions to think about too. So we know that the data in the graphs is an example of evidence that weather is not what is causing the differences in temperature. Okay, so I wanna show you a weather types movement routine. So from now on, when we're talking about different types of weather, we're gonna use body movements to help us show the weather types. Are you ready? Okay, so the first one is sunny. And whenever we talk about sunny weather, I want you to do this. You're gonna circle your arms over the top of your head and you're gonna wave your fingers like I'm doing. Ready? So this is sunny weather. Show me sunny weather with your body. Awesome job. Okay, the next type of weather is cloudy weather. Here's how we're gonna show cloudy weather. You're gonna use your hands and you're gonna draw little clouds in the air with your hands like this. Show me cloudy weather with your body. Ooh, those are some big clouds you're making. Okay, let's look at the next type of weather. Ooh, windy weather. This one's really fun. You have to be careful with your arms so you don't hit anything, but to do windy weather, you're gonna go, Show me windy weather. Ooh, that's really fun. All right, let's look at the next type. Okay, the next type is rainy weather. Here's how you're gonna do rainy weather. Show that rain falling down from the sky. Oh yeah, rainy weather, rainy weather. Show me it with your body, the rainy weather. Ooh, very nice, very rainy. All right, let's look at the next type. Oh, this is the last type, it's snowy weather. So we're also gonna show the snow falling out of the sky, but snow falls a lot softer and slower than rain. So we're gonna go snow, snow, show me that snowy weather falling down from the sky. Awesome. Okay, now let's, I'm gonna give you a little challenge. I'm gonna show you some different types of weather and you do the weather movement with your hands. Are you ready? Ooh, what kind of weather is that? Show me with your body. Yeah, awesome, that's rainy weather. All right, here's the next one, ready? Show me with your body. Yup, do you remember the movement for snow? It's snowy weather. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. What type of weather is that? Yeah, that's cloudy weather. You remember to draw the clouds with your hands? Cloudy weather. Okay, next type. Hmm. Do you remember how to show sunny weather? With your hands up over your head, sunny weather. Very good. All right, last type. Whoa, that is some majorly windy weather. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that was fun. Okay, do you remember this chart? We talked about what scientists do. 
To answer questions, scientists do different things. We already know that scientists observe with their five senses and record data down from investigations. We also learned that scientists organize their data to make sense of it. Remember how we use those graphs to organize our data so that we could really see it very easily? That helped us to compare the data. Comparing is something else that scientists do. Remember what compare means? It means to look and see what is the same and what is different about data. Sometimes scientists also write so that they can remember things from their investigations. Other times, scientists write to communicate what they've learned with other people. We're gonna do some writing together right now. Do you remember the chapter one question? What is the weather like on the playgrounds? I think we've answered that question by looking at our data and organizing it into graphs so we could compare it. Let's do some shared writing. Here's how this will work. I'm going to read you the question, and I want you to say out loud what you think the answer to the question is so I can write it down. Are you ready? Awesome. Here's the first question. What is the weather like on Carver's playground? Hmm. I'm having trouble remembering. Do you want to look back at the data with me? Let's look. Here's our graphs. Here's Carver's Playground weather graph. Let's look at the data so we can answer the question. How many sunny days were there? There were a lot. Let's count them again together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine sunny days. We want to report that back in our writing. How many cloudy days were there? Tell me. Yeah, there were three cloudy days. How many windy days were there? Right, there was only one. How many rainy days were there? Yeah, there was only one. Okay, so let's go back to our shared writing. We're gonna say Carver's playground had nine sunny days. There were three cloudy days. There was one windy day and there was one rainy day. Great, we answered the question about the weather on Carver's playground. The next question says, what is the weather like on Woodland's playground? Should we look back at the data again? It's always a good idea. Okay, here's Woodland's playground weather graph. Do you remember Carver and Woodland's weather graph? Were they the same or were they different? Yeah, they were the same. There's the same number of sunny days, the same number of cloudy days, the same number of windy and rainy days. So we can just say that in our shared writing. What is the weather like on Woodland's playground? Well, it's the same as Carver's, right? So we can say Woodland's playground has nine sunny days. There were three cloudy days. There was one windy day. There was one rainy day. Great. What is the same or different about the weather on the two playgrounds? Ooh, this question is asking us to compare again. What is the same or different about the weather on the two playgrounds? Okay, let's go back and look. Carver and Woodland had the same number of days with sunny weather, cloudy weather, windy weather, and rainy weather. That's what's the same, right? Do you remember what was different? Carver and Woodland had different types of weather on different days. Okay, great. Remember that to answer their, answer their questions, scientists do different things. They observe, record, compare, and we can add communicate. Communicating means writing or talking or sharing information. So today we wrote to communicate what the weather is like on the playgrounds and answer the chapter question. Woohoo! We are awesome scientists. All right, that's the end of lesson 1.4, Weather and Playgrounds, part two. I'm Scientist Kate. Before I go, I wanna give you a little science joke. 
Are you ready? What did the weatherman wear under his trousers? Thunder pants. <laughs> Gosh, I love a good weather joke, don't you? Awesome. I'll see you next time for more sunlight and weather. Stay curious.